Ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice to be with you here tonight. Let me cut right to my remarks tonight. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this book that I'm, I wrote some months ago, but, but I really want to talk about the most important thing in life. And uh, it's in the title of the book, and to give you a hint, it's not enemies. You know, we often forget in, the, in our daily lives, we're going about our daily lives with great complication. There's a real tendency to forget the most important thing, to get distracted by things that are less important. What's the most important thing? The answer to that comes from an example I want to give you. The Nixon administration was trying to figure out the solution to a problem. Most of you weren't born, but you know the problem, which is why the United States was losing the Vietnam War. 20% of American military active forces in Vietnam were addicted to heroin. Of course you're not going to have an effective fighting force. What's going to happen when they come home? Thousands and thousands and thousands of guys are going to come home and enter their communities. 95% of the drug addicted soldiers from Vietnam came home and stopped using heroin spontaneously on their first day. Nobody had ever seen anything like this. This is unimaginable. You know heroin is impossible to kick just like that. <laughs> what happened? Nobody knew. It had something to do with their relationships. They were reunited with their families, with their friends, with their kids. How did that enact this miracle? Neurologists, neuroscientists discovered a neurotransmitter called oxytocin, the love molecule. It makes you feel intense love. When these guys came home from Vietnam and they got the actual molecule, they didn't need the heroin anymore. What's the point? Love solves problems. That's what we have to remember. It doesn't matter how good your education is. It doesn't matter what you study. God's gift to you is love. Your job is to pass it on. You will solve your problems. The first lesson I want to give you, by the way, is that love is the most important thing in life. Look to the love solutions first. I have a colleague, somebody that I've worked with, her name is Jean Twenge. She's been looking at loneliness and depression for a long time. And she has an explanation. It's screens and social media. You don't get any oxytocin from Instagram. Doesn't happen. Why? Because there is no eye to eye contact. Why are we making this substitution? For the answer to that, I went to somebody that I've been working with for a long time, another social psychologist by the name of Jonathan Haidt. He talks about what's wrong on campuses. Why is there so much campus turmoil at many campuses? So much anger, so much hatred. And his answer is because of fear. Why are they so afraid? And John said, you made them afraid. So what did I do? He said, answer this question. When was the first time that you uh, went out of the house by yourself to run an errand? How old were you? I don't know, five? He said, you were five, fine. How old was your daughter? And I said, I don't know, 13? The point is, if you don't expose people to risk, they never build up a tolerance to it. This is why people in high school are afraid often to hear things that they disagree with and also on college campuses. Really, it's a problem of entrepreneurship, isn't it? The willingness and ability to take risk for explosive rewards. Every single one of you is a life entrepreneur. Are you willing to create explosive rewards value with your life? Taking some risk? Hope so. If we're paralyzed by fear, we're not going to have that entrepreneurial ability. That will crowd out love. So, what's my advice to you? Think about this. Do you want to persuade somebody? You cannot by saying you're an idiot. The only way you can persuade is by saying I love you. Tell me more. Now I want to tell you what I think. That's the practical case from our Lord and Savior, who tells us how we can deal with the current environment. When you feel that somebody's treated you with hatred, you have one real choice, which is to answer with love, because it is what matters the most. God bless you and thank you.